What's up Stripe Nation, Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to change a throttle cable on a Skag V-Ride 2. This is a 52 inch, but I think they're all the same. Uh, the only hard part about it is getting up under here, getting a socket with an extension. Uh, other than that, it's pretty easy. I'm not mechanically inclined, I don't know a ton, but I know enough to do general maintenance like this. That way this mower isn't in a shop, I'm not paying the bill to pay somebody else to do this. I can take 10 minutes, get it done here at the house, and I think they're only $20, the throttle cable. So little things like this that you're just gonna wanna know for your business. That way it's only a 10 minute, $20 problem instead of a one day, $100 problem or whatever that shop will charge. So you only need a couple little tools here, a flat head and a socket set. I'm gonna be using this socket extender but hey, if you guys are new here, this is gonna be a super short little video here, but if you're new, please make sure you subscribe. I'm all about helping you guys take care of your customers, take care of your equipment, your employees, make more money, man. Ring the cash register every single day, no matter your age, nothing, dude. No matter what's going on in the economy, the news, I wanna help you guys make money, grow your business, and take care of your customers, your equipment, everything that it takes to grow a business. So. Let's get this done. These are little things that you just wanna know. You wanna be able to know how to do general maintenance and repairs on your equipment. And that way, like I said, we're not wasting a ton of time, a ton of days, and a ton of money in a shop. So let's get this throttle cable changed. So right there, you can see that's where the throttle cable busted. Uh, listen, it's just a little wire. It happens. It's really no big deal. I don't think we've changed it yet in this mower and we have 865 hours. So we may have changed it once around three or 400 hours. I really cannot remember. So pretty simple. You can see the two nuts there. I've already taken one off, which is right here. And there's another one right there. We're going to loosen up and then pull this through. And as I was gonna tell you to hold on to those two nuts and bolts, uh, I dropped one throughout the mower, but I found it. So hold on to these little guys here. And then we're gonna take the throttle cable, maneuver it down here, and now that's loose. Okay, so I totally lied to you guys. Since this exhaust is here, I'm not using a Phillips or a flathead. I'm just gonna use this socket. And it comes right off, loosens up. I'm not gonna take it off all the way, I just need to loosen enough so I can get that cable through there. But as you can see, I didn't take it off there, I just loosened it up. But then this part, this is kind of a weird little system here. So you can see how it, it goes in like that and then you turn it and this little design fits into that hole. All right, so I have the new throttle cable. I could not do it one-handed, but I put it in that hole, and now we're just gonna reverse the steps. We're gonna tighten it in here, and then run it up through, and put the bolts back on. Quick little suggestion, don't tighten this down all the way, because you may need to adjust it once you get this whole throttle cable up and bolt it up. Just keep in mind where your bolt holes are, you wanna twist it and go up through the hole and turn. Just like that. So the bolts go up through the top and the nuts go on the bottom. It's just kinda of wonky doing this. You almost need three hands, which is different, but I, I, it's only myself here today. It's Friday afternoon, the guys are out working, and I'm just trying to do some stuff, get some stuff done here. And throttle cable was definitely on the top of my list. All right, so I just spent 10 minutes trying to find this nut that I dropped. It's kind of, it's just really compact up in there with this back bolt because of the choke. It's right in the way. Okay, so if you're moving around the throttle cable and it's not working properly, loosen this back up. Put the throttle cable all the way down, let it adjust itself, tighten it up. And there we go. All right, so that is how to change a throttle cable 
and a 52 inch Skag V-Ride 2. If you guys enjoyed, please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, check the links down below. We have discount codes to a ton of different products, 50% off of GIE Expo tickets, 10% off of Ballard-Inc.com, Cujo, Equipment Defender. Check the links in the description, and I always appreciate you guys for using those codes, supporting the channel, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you learned something. Keep grinding out there, guys. Keep crushing it. Keep staying positive. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.